Welcome to The Track. Today, we blur the lines between reality and virtual reality as we take a closer look at five common facts of race drivers and their digital counterparts. Gentlemen, start your engines. Hi guys, I'm Sun Muller, I'm a Porsche factory driver. And I'm Joshua Rogers, sim racer and winner of the Porsche Esports Super Cup. So today we're going to show you our top five shared facts between sim racing and real racing. Yes, and with esports growing into the mainstream, our processes and preparation have become much more like yours, Finn. Yes, that's true. So let's start with our top five training routines. So when we're talking about training routines, uh, for us it's really important to get hydrated in front of a race weekend uh, to fill up our energy level. Um, how's about you? Well, for us, obviously, hydration and eating uh, good foods is important. But most of the time, uh, for me, especially based in Australia, it's all about getting yourself on the right body clock, which I guess is a little bit similar for you guys if you have to drive through the night. We try also to, to prepare um, a race weekend on a simulator to see the breaking points and a complete uh, track layout. Um, but then on the, on the race weekend, everybody has only one hour. And in this hour, you also have to set up the car. I guess you guys are, are walking the, the track physically, whereas for us really it's just kind of doing a few slow laps, whether it's looking for brake mark as well, or little things uh, on the circuit, you know, whether it's a, a change in track surface or, or the curb changes colour. Our preparation is really similar. The most important thing is when we arrive on the race weekend, we go and do a track walk to see how the asphalt is changing and um, how, how you can ride the curbs, um, driving offline, looking for spots to overtake other people and also driving into pit lane, exit pit lane to really have all possible things to look at. I guess it's a little bit similar to, to us in the sim. You can uh, kind of set up a practice race with your teammates. It wouldn't necessarily be realistic, but just to try and you know figure out where you can pass and how to set up moves and stuff. Um, how's that work for you guys? I mean, I think it's learning by doing. You have a lot of experience from the past and you also watch other races. So we see how, how, how the start was at this race, where we can overtake. Regarding muscle memory, in terms of like braking and such, is that something that you normally can figure out quite early on in the weekend? Most of the time we need between 5 and 10 laps to learn the track. If we have done a good preparation before, it's much easier, then you really can concentrate on driving and on developing the car setup. Yeah, I guess it's, it's quite similar. Uh, for us, obviously, we do a lot of preparation. You know, it can be anywhere from 10 to 15 hours, but normally in the first kind of half an hour, you, you know the track, and then from there, it's all about trying to get those last half a tenth is, uh, is everything. How important is uh, the perfect strategy during a race weekend? Immediately after qualifying, you'll kind of look at the group, look at where you're going to start, uh, and kind of give yourself a little bit of an idea of who's around you as well. If it's a 24-hour race at the start, you're not going to be as aggressive as possible, but like in the, the Bosch Eastwood Super Cup, for example, you know, we've got 15-minute and 30-minute races, so off the start, through an opportunity to, to gain as many spots as possible. For us, especially in the, in the longer races, it's actually really, really important. Uh, you know, if you can manage to double in a set of tyres, you're looking at nearly 30 seconds gained in, in the pits. Especially, you know, in the longer races, you can cut out a, a complete pit stop in something like a Le Mans. Uh, or the Nürburgring 24 hours, so much like in the real world, fuel conservation and tyre conservation are uh, super important in terms of getting the result at the end of the day, which I guess ties in a little bit with what you guys do in, uh, in the endurance stuff. Uh, sounds really similar. And then speaking about pit stop strategies, to really find the, the optimum time when going into pit lane, maybe to jump some people doing undercuts uh, for, for gaining positions. Pit is a good word. I might get a stop right now. So let's talk about our top two, car setup and uh, telemetry. Um, how does it work for you to find the perfect car setup? Most of the time we use telemetry and data analysis like you guys do yeah. uh, in MoTeC. Obviously we've got a, a garage screen with all sorts of things like tyre pressure, um, all that kind of stuff, just like you. Then from there it's, it's mainly just um, clicking through things um, based on feel. 
What's it like for you guys at the racetrack? During the session, we can do like little little changes, and then after the session, we do like swing change. Um, aerodynamics is, is really important, but therefore we have our race engineer, and he's like working 24/7 and finding and optimize our our car setup to really be on top of the level. So, as you know, our team spirit is the most important thing. In some races, we have up to 100 people. Like, for example, the biggest or important race for Porsche is, is Le Mans. We have a lot of people working behind the scenes, working with the tires, uh, finding the right pressure. Also, engine department is, is a lot of people. Obviously, as, as a driver, you want to have a lot of horsepower. How is it working in, in eSport? Well, yeah, I mean, for sure, uh, for us, it's not so much in the engine. But um, certainly with your suspension, uh, tires, aerodynamics, all that sort of stuff. Also, from a driver's perspective, uh, you always want to beat your teammate. Um, and at the end of the day, they're often the people that are closest to you. Working together with your teammates, trying to push each other forward uh, as best as you can um, is super crucial. So basically, we are friends in the paddock, but enemies on track. And this, I think, how it should be. So let's get suited up and have fun out there. So these were our top five common facts. I hope you didn't get lost between virtual reality and reality. And I encourage you to come along for the Porsche qualifying series and iRacing to compete in the 2020 Porsche Esports Super Cup with myself and many others. So, Josh, let's go out and have some fun. What do you think? Sure, let's go. Good. Thanks, gentlemen. Great insights, great sportsmanship, and always a pleasure to see you racing. This was the last episode of Season 4 of Porsche Top 5. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. See you soon, and stay tuned.